गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज टेरिडो फाइट्स द टेरिडो फाइट्स इंक्लूड्स हॉर्स टेल्स एंड फर्नस दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स टेरिडो फाइट्स आर यूज फॉर मेडिसिनल पर्पज एंड एज सॉइल बाइंडर्स दिस इज द इकनॉमिक इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ टेरिडो फाइट दे आर ऑल्सो फ्रीक्वेंटली ग्रोन एज ऑर्नामेंटल प्लांट्स दैट इज दे आर वेरी डेकोरेटिव ऑर्नामेंटल गिवस ब्यूटी evolutionary they are the first terrestrial plant to possess vascular tissues xylem and phloem so pteridophytes are the first land plants which have xylem and phloem we shall study about these tissue in chapter 6 about xylem and phloem we will study afterwards the pteridophytes are found in cool damp shady places दो सम में फ्लरिश वेल इन सैंडी सॉइल कंडीशन ऑल्सो एज इन केस ऑफ ब्रायोफाइट्स द डोमिनेंट फेज इन द लाइफ साइकिल इज गमीटोफाइट दैट इज दे हैव एन नंबर इन ब्रायोफाइट्स बट इन टेरिडोफाइट्स द मेन प्लांट बॉडी इज स्पोरोफाइट हैज टू नम एन नंबर ऑफ क्रोमोसोम्स विच इज डिफ्रेंशिएटेड इन टू ट्रू रूट स्टेम एंड लीव्स so in pteridophytes true roots true stem and two true leaves are present these organs possess well differentiated vascular tissues in them vascular tissue means xylem and phloem also is present the leaves in pteridophyta are small when they are small in size they are known as microphylls as in selaginella shown in figure 3.3a diagram the leaves are small in selaginella and known as microphylls and sometimes large in size known as macrophylls as in fern shown in figure 3.3c the sporophytes bear sporangia that are subtended by leaf like appendages called sporophylls on the sporophyte complete body is sporophyte on the sporophyte sometimes strobilus is present as shown in figure 3.3b on the top strobilus structure is shown the strobilus bears many sporophylls it has many leaf like structures known as sporophylls on the sporophylls sporangia are present so in the sporangia then spores will be produced in the sporophyte that is a plant body on plant body strobilus is present that is group of sporophylls is present on the sporophylls sporangia is present and inside the sporangia spores are produced in some cases sporophylls may form distinct compact structure called strobili or cones this strobili is similar to the cones of gymnosperms that i will tell you next time the sporangia produces spores by meiosis in spore mother cells inside the sporangia in the strobilus or on the sporophyll sporangia are present inside the sporangia spore mother cells are present then meiosis occurs in spore mother cells the spores germinate to give rise to inconspicuous small but multicellular living free living mostly photosynthetic thalloid gametophyte called prothallus the spores then germinate and forms a heart shaped structure known as prothallus prothallus is green and photosynthetic in nature the gametophyte bear male and female sex organs called anthridia and archegonia respectively on the gametophyte male organ known as anthridium and female sex organ known as archegonium is present anthridium produces antherozoites and archegonia produces egg water is required for the transfer of antherozoites here also for fertilization water is required the male gametes released from anthridia reach up to the mouth of the archegonium fusion of male gamete with the egg present in the archegonium result in the formation of zygote when anthridium 
when anthozoid and egg fuses zygote is formed zygote therefore produces a multicellular well differentiated sp sporophyte then zygote develops into first embryo and then embryo goes into a new sporophyte which is the dominant phase of the pteridophytes in pteridophytes also haplodiplontic life cycle is present that is in their life cycle haploid phase also is present and diploid phase also is present diploid phase is represented by the sporophyte by the main plant body and haploid phase is represented by the gametophytic phase where anthridium and archegonia are produced so in pteridophyte also alternation of generation is present that is diploid alternates with haploid and haploid alternate with diploid in majority of the pteridophytes all the spores are of similar kind such condition is known as homosporous if the spores are of same type example is legionella in legionella the spores are of same type but sometimes two kinds of spores are produced large are known as macro spores and small are known as micro spores macro represent the female and micro represent the male then such condition is known as heterosporous the megaspores and microspores germinate and give rise to female and male gametophyte respectively in which the different type of spores are produced the microspore give rise to male gamete formation of the male gamete and macrospore form the female part the the mega the female gametophyte in these plants are retained on the parent sporophyte for variable periods some the female remain gametophyte remain attached to the sporophyte for some time the development of the zygote into young embryo takes place within the female gametophyte zygote develops into embryo and they all these all structures are present inside the female gametophyte this event is precursor to the seed habit considered as an important step in evolution as in the higher plants the female part remain attached to the plant, uh, to the female part in the female part embryo grows similarly the this seed habit that is this seed remain attached to the female part that is the precursor of the for precursor in the step of evolution the pteridophytes are further classified into four classes the pteridophytes have four classes first xylopsida example xylotum second lycopsida example legionella sphenopsida example is equisetum and pteropsida example is dryopteris so learn the four classes name and at least one example of each i hope pteridophyta is clear i will give you the life cycle of pteridophyta then try to understand if any doubt you can call me thank you